Hi everyone, we're going to continue working with our Lois Dodd inspired artwork. I did a video that had the Ampon Air where you go outside and you work, but another thing that she does is she brings the outdoors in. So one thing that I did was I brought some of these little wish flowers or the dandelions when they're about, um, when they have their seeds. So I brought those in. I also a while ago worked with grape hyacinth flowers and I've been watching them turn into little seed pods themselves. So that's been really fun to observe their changes. I did have a video on the website, um, or I do have a video on the website about how to use finger paints to paint grape hyacinth. So if you'd like to do that, you can check that out. Or um, we can use something like this to be inspired by. If you look at that, there's quite a geometric shape going on. Remember, that's what Lois Dodd was really into. So here I've kind of done something inspired by the wish flowers and um, another piece that she did. So on here I used a colored paper and I actually used colored pencils for this. So I used white colored pencils and I used some yellow and some like a deep plum color. So what I did was I created the stem and a circle. So it's basically a long rectangle with a circle. And then I just created lines coming out in different lengths. There's a lot of little ones, some medium, and then all the way out to the edge. So I'm just filling all of those out. And then at the end of each, I actually make kind of like a U shape and another line on the inside, or sometimes I make what looks like a star shape because it all depends on the angle that you're looking at it. So sometimes you might see the very tip of it, or sometimes you might just see the side of it. So if you just see the side of it, you're gonna make that U shape. But if you see the whole piece of it, you're going to kind of make like a star shape. So I would just keep filling that in all the way around. And that's how you do it with the colored pencil. I'll show you on this side how you can do it with crayon. It's the same thing, but if that's all that you have, that's fine. You're going to create the circle in the center. I'm working with my cheetah feet, so you definitely want to put your turtle shell on. And you're creating the stem. And then here you have those lines. It almost looks like a sun, or how we typically make a sun. And just kind of keep getting longer. And I've only used the white so far, so you can actually add in other colors, make that U shape at the end, or the star shape. And then you can start adding the yellows in there. And the darker colors on the tips. Again, cheetah feet. There is another way that you can make dandelions, which is pretty fun, but you'd have to have the right tool. But I thought I'd show you anyway. So this is like a dish brush scrubber. It doesn't have to be, um, just like mine, but you might have something at home that would work. I have a little bit of white paint and you can brush it on like this or you can just kind of get all in there. I have different types of whites in here. There's some called parchment. So you just want to kind of make sure that all of your little bristle, bristles are covered. And then you can start pressing down. And that can give a nice look of these wish flowers going on. And then when you're done with the press down part, that's when you can go back in and you can add a stem And on the inside, if we want to see, there's like a little brown in there. So if you would like, you can take a little bit of brown and add that in. You know, if we're working by observation, like Lois Dodd, you can add um, green if you'd like. There's some green on the stem that's still left. So if you'd like to take your green Put that in there and remember we're being inspired by her so if there's 
a different way that you kind of want to take this, that's fine. This is just your introduction to her style and just always want to see where it leads you. So that is how to do some observational work inspired by Love is Done. Enjoy and stay creative.